Um, so excited to be reading um, with you today and to have the opportunity to um, share the podium with so many talented and, and generous artists. The poem, I'll just be reading one poem today, and it's on page eight in the issue. Um, so the poem is titled Pony Credo, and um, one of the things I've been wondering lately is whether um, I'll ever write a poem where some sort of animal doesn't make its way into, um, into the poems. I noticed a lot of animals, um, birds and dogs, um, coming up in, in other works today. So um, one of my uh, teachers has said we tend to write toward our obsessions. And, and I was surprised to learn how I'm, I am obsessed with animals. It was a discovery. So this is um, Pony Credo. My father asked for an end to labor, but over and over, the world was laid like a newborn in his arms. He rescued the black pony from the dog food buyer at auction, though rescue is too strong a word. With his bum leg, the pony lived with us five years, fathering two unexpected foals my brother and I discovered, silver on their spindle legs and grass high as our chests the placenta steaming at our feet. We ran to tell the grown-ups, past the neutered goat we'd all mistaken for a nanny, past cats dropped off in the night, shelved in car engines February mornings till the engines turned over. The pony collapsed one morning on the ice, his eyes rolled back, his muzzle locked with tetanus. I haven't been waiting for anything but his breath to open out of his seized throat. I believe there will always be foxes more live than I'll ever be, their forgiving tails waving along blonde crests of hills. Resurrection is clover, abundant, a nuisance even. Thank you.